It's time for high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcers for tonight's game. Hello and welcome to the campus of Northview High School for a crosstown matchup between the Dothan Tigers and the Northview Cougars. Hi, I'm Mick Kirkland bringing you all the action tonight and that's exactly what we expect. These two teams met early this year in the downtown Dothan Hoops Classic and it was a close game. Northview won that game 60 to 56. Now Dothan's got to come out tonight and play a lot more aggressive than they did early in the game against Northview. In the previous meeting, Northview came out very aggressive, and they were able to control the game. They led the entire game. Dothan was able to cut the lead down to one point late in the fourth period, but Northview was able to pull it out. So uh, what you can look for tonight, Northview size Dothan speed. So we're getting ready for the tip-off. Dothan gets the tip-off. It goes over to number 21, Alamine. He gives it to Janae Perry. Over to Gaskin. Now, Dothan's an excellent three-point shooting team from Perry and Gaskin. And Perry opens it up with the three. Northview strength is in number one, Xavier Gibson, who's outstanding under the basket, and he's been known to put away some threes, too. Gibson's fouled on the play. That foul is going to be called um, number 43, Kyrie Thomas. His first, team's first. Gibson's a, uh, uh, has signed a letter of intent with Florida State University to play basketball. Gibson sinks his first free throw. The keys to this game is uh, for both teams is to get you key players involved and so far both key players for uh, key players for both teams uh, have been involved here early in the game. Dothan's up three to two. Perry pulls up for another three. It falls short but Chambers gets the rebound. And to Thomas and it's blocked by Gibson. That's the problem Dothan's going to have under the basket. Gibson is such a big target to have to shoot over. Coachman shoots, misses, put by, by Zedrick Helms. So Northview goes on top four to three. Gaskin over to Chambers. Chambers four, three. Misses. Rebound goes to Gibson. He gets it to Zach Kelly. Kill over to Helms. And they try to get it into Biggums, and they lose it. And it's going to be out of bounds off of uh, Northview. So it's going to be Dothan's ball. A lot of excitement here tonight. A real good crowd on hand. Two student sections are here. Dothan has a student section here along with Northview. And a second block by uh, Gibson. And I tell you what, Thomas is going to have to come up with something different. He's not going to be able to just take the ball in and just try to shoot it up over Gibson. That's not going to happen. So Gibson with the second block of the game. Coachman to Helms. Gets it in to Biggums. He's double teamed. Back out to Helms. He shoots. Misses. And a fight for the rebound. And somehow Gaskin comes up with it, and they call him for traveling. So it's going to be Northview's ball. Gibson for three. Misses. Coachman goes up high and almost gets the rebound, but Alamine comes down with it on the fast break, and Gibson knocks it out for the third time. Three blocks here in the opening minutes of the game by Xavier Gibson. As I was saying, the last possession, Dothan's got to come up with a different strategy. They are not going to be able to drive the ball in and shoot up over Gibson. Now, what they're going to have to do is Gibson blocks it again. That's the 
third, uh, fourth block shot by Gibson. He's blocked three of Thomas's shots. Gibson for three. Missed. And somehow he gets the rebound, gets it over to Coachman. In the corner to Helms. Count it. Zedrick Helms for three. Five points in the first period for Helms. Northview's on top, 7-0. Dolphin hit the opening basket with a three by Janae Thomas, but they haven't been able to put anything in since. Alamine goes up, and that time uh, Gibson fouled him. So that's his first shot. Dothan is coming out, and they're attacking the basket. And so far, they've been very unsuccessful at doing it. That time, Gibson committed a foul, so at the line, it's Alamine. He's going to be shooting two. He misses the first of two. Four fifty-six left in the first period. Northview on top. He steps on the line, so lane violation, so the basket doesn't count, so it's Northview's ball again. Dothan in the four-court press. They get the ball to Coachman. He takes it up, lays it up and in. Joe Coachman for two. Dothan's an excellent three-point shooting team, and that time they were able to get up a shot, and it looked like it may have been partially blocked again, but not by Gibson, but by Biggums. They're going to uh, call a foul on Coachman. That'll be his first, team second. Northview playing very tough. <laughs> and another block by Gibson. Five blocked shots here in the first four minutes of this game. Perry takes it out for the Tigers. And to Thomas. Back to Perry. He dishes off the Alamine. Back to Perry. Chambers puts it up. Count it. Second field goal of the game for the Tigers. They took a 3-0 lead, and they had hit a, a cold spell for about four minutes. So it's a 9-5 game, Northview leading Dothan. Gibson gets it, and uh, it's going to be out of bounds off of uh, a Dothan player. So the Cougars will maintain possession. With 3.16 left in the first to score. Okay, we are back to action. The Cougars take it out, and we're going to have a foul called on number 21, Alamine. Devin Alamine is, is first. Team second. It's a non-shooting foul. Taking it out for Northview is Zarek Hems. He gets it in to Coachman. Back to Hems. Coachman pulls up for a three. Count it! Joe Coachman with five points. So it's a 12 to 5 Northview lead. That time they tried to get it into uh, Welch, and he loses it. Coachman gets it, puts it up and in. Joe Coachman with seven points here in the first period. So with 2.41 left in the first, to score Northview, 14, Dothan, five. 
We are back as we resume action. Northeast leading 14 to 5 over the Dothan Tigers. And if you got to talk about one key thing in this game, it's been the blocked shots by Gibson. He's blocked five of Dothan shots. Johnny Welch pulls up for a jumper. No good. Kelly gets the rebound for Northview. Kelly takes it, drives down the middle of the lane, banks it off the glass for two. Zach Kelly. Northview up by 11 points, 16 to 5. Gaskin puts up one miss. Thomas gets the rebound, and it's blocked again by Gibson. Block number six by my count. Perry. That's Helms, his first foul. Into the game for Northview is number 20. Three-point shot by Welch is no good. Northview out on the fast break. Coachman pulls it back out. They lose it, loses it to uh, Welch. Perry for three. It's off. Coachman. And that was Zach Kelly picking up the loose ball for two. So it's an 18 to 5 game. Dothan with only two field goals in the first period, and they are normally a very good shooting team. And it's out of bounds. Right now they're looking very tentative. They're not playing with a lot of confidence at all. And, and Northview's come out. They've established this game. They're playing the kind of game that they want to play. And right now they are totally controlling things. There are a lot of time, there's a lot of time left in this game. But right now everything's going Northview way. They're leading by 13, 18 to 5. And a three. Boy, they are hot. 21 to 5. Gaskin goes up and it's block number seven for Gibson. Traveling called. So it's going to be Dothan's ball with uh, 26 seconds left in the first. And they're trailing 21 to 5. Only two field goals in the first period. This is a big shocker for Dothan. Good strong move that time by Chambers. It wouldn't fall. So it goes back to Northview. And a shot at the buzzer, and it's no good. So at the end of one, the score is Northview 21, Dothan 5. Okay, we begin the second period of play. First period was all Northview. Dothan took a 3-0 lead at the beginning of the game, and they have trailed ever since. Rebound goes to uh, Biggums. He gets it out to Coachman. Zach Kelly. Into Gibson. Kicks it out to Coachman. From the corner. Count it three. Coachman with his second three of the game and his tenth point of the game. North, you came ready to play tonight. I don't know what Dothan's doing. They, they are normally a very good shooting team. That time, uh, Perry threw it up. A little too hard, and they call Gibson uh, for traveling. So we have a timeout on the court with 7.16 left in the second period. It's Northview 24, Dothan 5. Okay, we're back in action. The Tigers try to get it in, and uh, Coachman has it. 
I think he was trying to call a timeout, and the officials didn't see him. Zach Kelly gets it into Biggums. Biggums gets it over to Gibson. He misses, and the rebound goes to uh, Jamal Brooks. Nice feed that time from uh, to uh, to Chambers. for two, and that time uh, Biggins was going to try to slam it, and out of nowhere came Johnny Welch to block it, and they called him for the foul. That time Biggins was wide open, and Welch came out of nowhere and was able to get a piece of the ball, but he got him with the body. So Biggins at the line. He misses his first of two. Second shot up, and it's no good. But Gibson gets the rebound, puts it up. He tries to slam and misses, and Zach Kelly comes with the rebound and drives toward the basket. We're gonna, we're gonna have a foul on number 44. Jamal Brooks, his first. Shooting two at the line is uh, Zach Kelly. Kelly has four points in the game. Make it five. 25 to seven. Make it six. 26 to seven. A 19 point Northview lead. Welch back to Perry. And it's knocked away, but Gaskin was able to save it for the Tigers. Perry drives, and it's knocked out again by Gibson. Johnny Welch shoots, and it hits the top of the backboard, so it's going to be Northview's ball. That's Gibson's second block shot of the second period. He had seven in the first, and it's made a big difference in this game. So with uh, 5.58 left in the second, the score is Northview 26, Dothan 7. Okay, we're back in action, and most of the action tonight has been on the Northview side of the court. They have just dominated the Tigers. They're up 26 to seven. Dothan took a three nothing lead on a three pointer by Janae Perry, and they've only been able to score four more points in the game. Gibson for the slam, 28 to seven. I think Delton's a little rattled right now. They, they don't know what to do with Gibson. That time, a good fake by Brooks over Gibson, and I think that was probably the first time they've been able to get up a shot over him. They tried to get the ball into Biggums. And that time, uh, Delton got in a hurry. And uh, they were lucky to get, they were very lucky to get that one back. Northview up by 19 points. Five, still five minutes left in the second period. Chambers drives. And he's going to be fouled by Zach Kelly. That's his first team fourth <laughs> 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 
Traveling call on Welch. He took off before he put the ball down on the floor. So Dothan misses a, another opportunity. Four fifty left in the second period. It's been all Northview. They led twenty one to five at the end of one. Dothan has been a, a very high scoring team this year, putting up seventy and eighty points a game, but Northview seemed to have found a, an answer for that. Perry pulls up. Lays it up and rolls it in. Janae Perry with a big basket for the Tigers, and they needed that one. So it's a 28-11 to 11 game, and Northview turns it over. So we'll see if Dothan can capitalize on the Northview turnover. In the game for Northview is number four, Zarek Hems, and out is James Ransom.
Hello and welcome back to the campus of Northview High School where the Northview Cougars are leading the Dothan Tigers 33-24. to Hi, I'm Mick Kirkland bringing you the action and just kind of recapping things in the first half. Uh, to say it in one word, uh, it was all Northview in the first half. They took a 21-5 lead after the end of one and they went up by a score 28-7 to late in the uh, first half. But Dothan put on a run, a drive, and they were able to cut that lead down to uh, nine points that they are trailing now. They outscored Northview in the second period by uh, 19 to 12. So it was a big period for Dothan. So they're within striking distance. So they've got to come out this half and try to uh, cut more points off of that lead. But Northview, what they've got to do is just continue to do what they did in the first half. Xavier Gibson was just totally awesome under the basket. He blocked seven first quarter shots. Janae Perry starts off the second half like he started off the first half with a big three. So that lead has been cut to six points from 21 points. Shot call on a uh, foul call. Gibson takes the shot. Forty-three. That's Kyrie Thomas, his second. Zach Kelly gets it in to Bigham. He puts it up and in. And Rico Bigham for two. He had two points in the first half. Kind of recapping the scoring in the first half. And that was a shot by uh, Gaskin, his first. Uh, for Northview, leading score was Joe Coachman with 10. Uh, Zach Kelly had nine. Uh, Helms had five. Gibson had four. For Northview, uh, the leading score was uh, number 35, Edric Chambers. He had 11 points followed by Janae's, Janae Perry's seven points. Fouls on uh, 32. Biggums at the line is 43. Thomas. He misses his first of two. It's a six-point game now. That's as close as it's been since uh, early in the first period. Thomas makes the second of two. So they have cut a 21-point lead down to just five points. It's 35 to 30. Coachman gets it into Gibson. Back out to Kelly. The Hems, the Biggums. Hems pulls up for a three. Count it. Zendrick Hems with this second three of the game and his eighth point. Coming back down is Janae Perry with his third three of the game, 13th point. Joe Coachman controlling the ball. Bigham kicks it out to Kelly. Puts it up, rolls around and off the front of the rim. Tanae Perry gets it. Over to Gaskin from the corner. It's a three. <laughs> Folks, we have a game. Two-point lead, 38 to 36. The Delta side of the stands is coming alive now. And we have a timeout on the floor with the score. Northview 38, Dothan 36. We're back. Dothan has cut a 21-point lead down to two points. Coachman comes back and adds two more. So it's a 40-36 lead. Coachman with 12 points. And another block by the big man, Gibson. Offensive foul called on uh, Zach Kelly that time. So it's going to be Dothan's ball. Dothan has been trailing the entire game except for the opening shot, a three-pointer by Janae Perry. 
They've been able to erase a, a big portion of that 21-point deficit. They were able to cut it down to two points. But now they are trailing by 440 to 36. Perry for three. Count it. Perry with his third three of the game, and it's a one-point game. Gibson pulls up, shoots it, counts it. Gibson with uh, his first field goal of the second half, and he has a total of six points. He's been quiet on the shooting end, but he's been devastating defensively and rebounding. Perry for another three. Count it. Janae Perry is hot. He times the score at 42 apiece with 414 left in the third. Ham puts it up, misses, Perry gets the rebound. And we're gonna have a foul called on number four, Cedric Hems. Folks, we have a game here. It looked like this game was gonna be over in the first half when Northview went up by a score of 28 to seven. But Delta's showing a lot of patience and they've just chipped away at the lead and hey, it's tied up now with four minutes left in the third. Dothan's come out and scored 18 points in this period thanks to the three-point shooting of uh, Janae Perry. Gibson blocks another one. It's going to be a foul called on Johnny Welch. That'll be his second, team's third. This gym is just about full now. There were some empty seats earlier, but it's just about full. That's pretty much the way it is every time these two teams meet season after season after season. Shot by number 20 is good. So Northview goes back on top. Dothan yet to take the lead. They've been able to tie the score, but not take the lead. That's Welch. He's picked up a couple of quick ones. And he's going to be going back to the bench. That's the third team foul. Both teams with three team fouls here in the third. Dothan putting more pressure on him. And we're going to have a foul called before the shot. Called on number 21, Devin Alameen, his second, team's fourth. Coachman takes it out, inbounds it. Nice feed over to Bigham, who puts up a reverse layup for two. And Rico Bigham, Northview back on top by four. Elamin gets it to Chambers. He goes up over Gibson and puts it in. Chambers with 13, 46-44, two and a half minutes left in the third. Northview leading. It's pretty much it's been a, a tale of two halves. They get it into Gibson. He drives, fades back, puts it up, misses. Rebound goes to Perry. Perry kicks it over to Gaskin for three. Miss, but put back by Kyrie Thomas. Finally got one off and up. And it's a tie game, 46 apiece. Kelly shoots, misses, out of bounds off of Northview. So Dolphins in a position to take the lead for the first time since the initial three-pointer by 
Janae Perry in the opening minutes of the game. Bellamine gets it over to Chambers. Saved by Perry. And he pulls up for a three, misses. And we're going to have a foul call on Thomas. That's going to be his third. So Dothan misses another, another opportunity to take the lead. It's going to be Northview's ball. This is very similar to the game they played earlier uh, this year in the tournament. Dothan was able to dig out of a deep hole and was able to uh, come within one point, but they were never able to get over the hump and uh, take the lead. So with 119 left in the period, the score Dothan 46 and uh, Northview 46. Northview with it, they get it into Gibson. He puts it up, misses Chambers with the rebound. And Brooks was a little too far to the basket to control it. Biggum's with it, and he tries to get it down to Gibson and throws it away. 56 seconds left in the third. Dothan has put up 22 points this period. And a steal by number 20 for Northview. Northview trying to take a lead into the fourth period. Score tied. It's just like this game is starting over. They're going to hold it for one shot. Coachman pulls up and shoots. Count it. It's a three. Joe Coachman, 15 points. And Perry loses it. So we're at the end of three. Northview keeps, continues to hang on to lead the score. Northview 49, Dothan 46. Okay, we're back. Beginning of the fourth and final period on the campus, campus of Northview High School where they're taking on their crosstown rivals, the Dothan High Tigers. And Northview took an early 28-7 lead, but Dothan has come back real strong here in the second half. Gibson puts it up for two. Dothan High scored the uh, Cougars 19-12 in the second and 22-16 in the third. Northview up by uh, five points. Gaskin shoots, misses, rebound out to Coachman for two. Joe Coachman on the fast break, 17 points for Coachman. Elamine misses and the rebound goes to Zach Kelly who dishes it off to Bigham for two. Big play that time from Kelly to Bigham. So Norview is just going up to a nine-point lead. So with timeout on the court, the score is Northview 55, Dothan 46. Okay, we're back at the line shooting is Enrico Biggins, and he makes it. So Northview, they're on a uh, 
Uh, let's see. They've come out and scored seven points. The Dothan's nothing. Chambers goes up and tries to duck it over Biggums unsuccessfully. But he was fouled. That's Biggum's second foul. Chambers makes Dothan's first points of the uh, four period. Northview's out, outscored them seven to one. Seven to two. 15 points for Chambers. 48-56, Northview leading. Coachman from the corner. Missed, but Bigham gets the rebound. And they're going to count it. Big shot that time. Big rebound and big put by, by uh, Enrico Biggums. Biggums can put the Cougars back up by 11. He misses. Chambers gets the rebound. Not Chambers, or Thomas gets the rebound. Out to Perry. Welch gets it to Chambers. Back to Welch. He puts it up. Missed. And another block by Gibson. Oh, and we're going to have basket interference. That's going to count. So it's going to be a basket for the Tigers. They're trailing by eight, 58 to 50. Northview came out of the gates ready to play tonight. They've allowed Dothan to uh, tie the score in the third, 42 apiece. Gibson goes up and in. They don't have a way to stop that. So Northview leading by 10. And they lose it to Coachman. He slams it through. Brings the crowd to their feet. So Northview's up by a dozen now, 62 to 50. Jump ball, possession error stage with the Tigers. Welch inbounds it to Perry. Perry goes for a three. Misses. Coachman gets the rebound out to Biggums. To Kelly. Kelly drives toward the basket, lays it up, misses, gets his own rebound, puts it back in. Zach Kelly, 11 points in the game. Chambers pulls up and misses a wide open shot. That time Kelly tried and Perry stripped it away from him. So it's still gonna be Northview's ball. 439 left. They're back up by 14. Dothan had tied the score with 414 left in the third, 42 apiece. So we have a timeout with 439 left in the period. The fourth and final period. Northview on top by 14, 64 to 50. Okay, well. Okay, we're ready to begin the the game again. Uh, Northview has come out and outscored Dothan in the fourth period, 15 to four. They led by three at the end of three. And that time, a, a miss. It's going to be Dothan's uh, ball. If they want any chance at winning this game, they've got to come out and. Try to get a run here. 
Because right now, Northview is really dominating and controlling things. As they have in most of the game. Foul is going to be called on number 34, Zach Kelly. His third. A non-shooting foul. So Perry takes it out. He gets it in to Kyrie Thomas to Perry. Goes for a three. It's short. Hems with it for the Cougars. To Gibson. He's going to take a three. He misses it, but Zach Kelly gets the rebound for the Cougars. So they're just going to slow it down, take some time off the clock. Zach Kelly goes up, and Gibson gets it, and he couldn't control it, but there to put it back was uh, Biggums. So it's a timeout on the court with 340 left. Okay, we are resuming action. Northview back on top by 16. They led by as many as 21 in the first half, and Dothan was able to cut that lead, well, to tie the score in the third. Two consecutive block shots by Xavier Gibson. He has just been unbelievable under the basket tonight. Gibson over to Coachman. Zach Kelly to Biggums. Northview's just passing it around, taking some time off the clock. They're leading by 16. Coachman lays it up and in. Twenty-one points for Coachman. Tigers turn it over and a steal by Zach Kelly. 18 point lead. That time uh, Gibson was going to try to hit uh, Coachman on the run and he overthrew him. So it's going to be Dothan's ball. Two minutes, 29 seconds left. Northview in control of this one. Johnny Welch goes up and he challenged him that time and put it up and in. Two points for Johnny Welch. As a matter of fact, his first basket of the game. 50, uh, 68 to 52. Two minutes left in the game. Zach Kelly controls it. To Zach Kelly. Down the lane, up for two more. 13 points for Zach Kelly. 18 point lead for Northview. Thomas goes up, misses, gets his own rebound, and it's blocked again but by Gibson, and they called him for the foul. Looked like Dotham was going to be able to pull this one out about midway through the third when they tied the score, but Northview came out in this fourth period, and they just took control of the game again. Thomas makes his first free throw. He's two of three from the line. Hey, 
He misses the second. A minute left in the game. Northeast just going to try to run the clock out. They're leading by 17 points. And this is probably the biggest loss for the Tigers this year. They've uh, going into the tournament. They had only lost one game, but uh, I believe this will be three of their last four games that they've lost. Banks with it. Shot up and good by number 31, Terrell Owens. And it's stolen by number 22, Hutchison. And they we have a foul on the play. Foul is going to be called on number 10, Dante Banks, who's been very quiet tonight. At the line is Zach Kelly for the Cougars. He misses. But the Cougars get the rebound. And somehow Johnny Welch steals it away from him, lays it up, and misses, and Kelly gets the rebound. Out to George. 14 seconds left. But a lot of time what happens in games, if you dig yourself too deep of a hole, it's just too deep to dig out of. And that's exactly what happened to Dothan. Bigham shoots, misses. They're just going to run the clock out. So the final score is... Northview 70, Dothan 55. We'll be back with closing comments and a final wrap-up after this timeout. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back on the campus of Northview High School where the Cougars just beat the Dothan Tigers by a score of 70 to 55. Kind of wrapping things up, looking at scoring by quarters. Uh, Northview came out of the gates at full speed. They took a 21 to 5 lead out of the uh, first period. They led 33 to 24 at halftime. But Dothan put on a big run at the end of the first first half in the third period. They uh, cut that lead down to uh, well, matter of fact, they tied the score up at 42 apiece with 4:14 left in the third period. But at the end of three, the score was 49 for Northview, 46 for Dothan. And from that point on, Northview was in control. The uh, final score was 70 to 55. Running down the scoring, the leading score for Dothan was uh, number 21, Janae Perry had 21, uh, 12, number 12, Janae Perry had 21 points. And uh, he had five three-pointers. Uh, Gaskin had five. Uh, Chambers, 15 points. Thomas, six. For the win in Cougars, the big gun tonight was number five, Joe Coachman. He had a total of 21 points, 10 in the first half, and 11 in the second half. Xavier Gibson, even though it didn't show up on the scoreboard, he was just devastating under the basket. He blocked uh, a dozen shots or so, numerous rebounds, and just the intimidation factor. He wound up with 10 points. Enrico Biggums with 13, Zach Kelly 14. So it was a tough loss for the Tigers, but a big win for the Cougars. These two teams will be meeting again a week from tonight on the Dothan High Campus. So we're going to wrap it up from Northview High School on behalf of our camera person tonight, Heather Paramore. I'm Mick Kirkland saying good night from Northview High School. <laughs>